everybody today we're gonna take a google earth tour of yellowstone national park in wyoming i'm just gonna kind of show you how beautiful it is out there and a little bit about how to use google earth pro to check it out there's so much cool stuff in here it's a lot better than uh than just like what you're probably used to with just like maps because maps is pretty cool because you can see everything from the uh from the air from the satellite imagery but it's not as it's not as crazy. So Yellowstone is kind of a big place. I forgot how many miles it is, but I'm going to drop a link in the description so definitely check that out. There's a lot to do here, so we're going to zoom around real quick. We're going to look at some 360s up in the area. Um, so here's Old Faithful Geyser erupting. That's probably worth something. Yeah, so they got the hot springs. The geysers out here uh, looks like pretty uh, crowded. Look at how high that goes! Wow. So I guess what it is is there's like a uh, volcano under it, and it just or there's some sort of lava or something heating up the water, and it's just constantly just pushing out steam. So it's not that here. Let's go see. That's all the trees there. Now let's zoom over here. I placed Mark to Faithful. That looks like that uh, 360 was actually in the wrong place. Let's look at this one. So you can't go really close to it because obviously it's shooting hot steam and melt your face off out of it. But uh, pretty cool to see. Lots of beautiful mountains around here. Look at that, it just trails off. It kind of makes like a hot river for a ways. Whoever found this is probably astounded. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go over here to the Grand Prismatic Spring. Check this out. This right here, from the imagery, it looks so cool. It looks like a geode from space. Very neat. Let's look at a 360 of that. So I think it's just a hot spring. It just has really, really blue water. Choppy right here. Wow, look at that. So much steam coming off of that. I wonder how hot it is here on a normal day, like all the heat coming up from this. Yep, and here's the little, little signs they put up there. Let's see if we can zoom out on those to see if we can find anything else. It's 200 feet across. Yep, heated by magma. Pretty volcanic area there. Look at this. This is a really neat angle on that. That's so cool. There's so much mountainous area here. It's beautiful. Nobody really talks about Wyoming much, but it, yeah, it's a lovely place. Alright, let's bounce out of here and see what else there is to see. What's this right here? Oh, that looks pretty cool. It's a waterfall, Fairy Falls. It looks like you can hike there, not that far from the Prismatic Springs. Lots of falling down trees here. Wow, look at this cliff face. Check that out. Nice little waterfall going on. Very nice. It actually looks like this is, the scale of this is just so much more than what you can tell. You'd have to actually kind of go there in person. I wonder why all these trees are down. Like there was like fire or something. 
If anybody knows why it's like this, why everything's so dead over here, uh, let me know. Be acid rain or something, I guess. I don't know. You know, no one ever really hears about acid rain anymore. I don't know. That's probably a lie. Probably people who deal with that probably do. Probably know about acid rain. Let's look around for some more stuff. This little red area. Check this out. I'm gonna assume that this is not just a pool full of straight up lava, but I don't know why it's red like that. Look at that. It's like in the middle of nowhere, it's just super colorful. And wow, look at the detail. You can see all the fallen trees over here in this area. Wow, check that out. It looks like maybe this is just a natural way that the trees have been dying, but on another note, there's these the significant gray areas in here where everything's kind of dead. Looks like that might have been a, possibly like some burning had gone through there, but I'm not really, it's not really my thing. I don't really know how to identify that stuff, so I can't say for sure. Okay, so I found them over here. Here they are. So there's some serious mountains over here. As you can see, they're popping out. Like we have all the landmark, the landforms to pop out in 3D. And just look at the sheer freaking size of that. That is massive. Let's check out the peak of this over here. The summit of Grand of the Grand Tech. Man, look at that. That's a view. You probably get to work pretty hard to achieve this, I imagine. It's not Mount Everest, but this is a pretty big mountain. I'll try to find some stats for this mountain and put it in the description. But definitely go check this out, the Grand Teton. Yeah, they're not wearing that much that much uh, equipment. They do have helmets on, so. You know, usually if I climb a mountain, it's just on a hike, you know. I'm not really climbing a mountain, per se. These people are climbing a mountain. We got a little camp up here. There's a lot of snow out here, so. It's definitely not easy, I'm sure. Check this out. This is somewhere to go. Face this mountain, come down here and fish, you know, just be able to soak in all the view of these mountains on the bottom guy. Awesome, look at this. Absolutely stunning. That looks like seriously clear water. That's beautiful. Alright, we're gonna hop out of here and we're gonna go around where So much to do here, and you can see this place is massive, but it's, you know, it's pretty remote. There's some uh, definitely some like resorts and some things you can do up here. There's lots of places to stay, so I think if you went for a week, you can see a couple of things here. Let's see this Coulter Bay. This looks like the type of place where a bear would just run up on you as you're just plucking a salmon out of the water. Look at how clear that is. Is there a fish? Can we see a fish in the Google Earth Come on. Let me see. No, no, no chance. Look at that. Look at those snowy peaks. That's awesome. That's some Bob Ross stuff right there. Well, I'm going to hop out of this and we're going to go up again. See, here's what it looks like inside there. We're having these mountains all the way out. Yeah. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, I will be posting them along with the other content on here. So subscribe if you want that and uh, comment and like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.